Good afternoon everybody. Calm biker here. It's been out for a coffee and uh, also to test something new. And the new thing is my new camera and microphone setup. Which sounds exciting. It's like, oh, new camera, new microphone, but no. Unfortunately, it's not exciting. It's actually just expensive. Um, it's actually the same camera and the same microphone. But it's a new helmet, which is kind of exciting, but also kind of expensive. Unfortunately, I was a bit of a, an idiot yesterday. And I was uh, going out for a ride and I temporarily put my helmet, as I do quite often, onto my handlebar. Just hug it off the, uh, the chin piece, which I do quite often. Um, not anymore though, because I turned around for a second and heard a bit of a cracking noise, looked back and my helmet was on the floor. Unfortunately it had fallen off my bike and uh, landed on concrete. Now, it may well be okay, but I'm not really willing to take the risk. Same as I don't want the 30 quid Aldi helmets. Don't really want to take the risk on a helmet that I've dropped. Yeah, it looks okay on the outside, but there's always that chance that the outer shell has bent in, damaged the inner protective bit, and um, you know, made the helmet less safe, so I don't want to take that risk. You've only got one head. You want to keep it as safe as possible. So I've had to shell out for a new helmet. Uh, quite pleased with it, mind. It's cost quite a bit more than the last one. The last one was a bit of a budget job. Not quite Aldi budget, but you know. The last one was about 90 quid. And then I ended up spending another £40 on a replacement visor that could take a pin lock. And a pin lock. And, uh, and about another... 10 or 15 on a chin curtain thing so I suppose in total the other one was about 145 quid somewhere like that whereas this one was about 200 um, but I believe it's a better manufacturer the last one was an MDS uh, creature sprinter creature this one's a shark S900C um, the graphics on it aren't as funky the dragons on the last one, this one's all kind of tribal tattoo style lines, but it's alright, it's not bad, you know. So I'm out for a quick ride, just to see if I can get the angle of the camera right. Stay where you are. See if I can get the angle of the camera right, and uh, do a bit of microphone testing, see if I can get a decent microphone setup. I have no idea if this one's going to be as good as the last one, I'm hoping it, you know, if any with any luck uh, I'll get better sound than I did from the last one as well my slight worry at the minute is I've recorded this video once already on the way to get a coffee and I thought I'll just have a look at the angle couldn't really check the sound while we're having a coffee but I can have a look at the angle of the recording and uh, there were two recorded files and both were corrupt and uh, you know that's leading me to the slight worry because when the camera uh, when the helmet dropped the camera was attached so I don't know if as well as breaking my helmet I've broken the camera so I suspect I'm gonna go and have to buy myself a new camera as well and do this all over again hopefully not but then again maybe it gives me the opportunity to buy that drift ghost that I fancy <laughs> 
Anyway, I'm going to do some more sound testing now. Got some faster bits where you're probably not going to be able to hear me, but you never know. So I'll do some sound tests. I won't bother uh, putting them on this video, they're rather dull. So thanks for watching everyone, ride safe, and I'll talk to you all again soon.